happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Now we're good? Now we're good. I should never touch that camera. I, I think never it's, get it right. it's bad if you touch the camera. This is so, friend. This is exciting because it's Mark's birthday. Yes. I was more Happy birthday, about Mark. The, dog being here. the what? I was more stoked about the dog being here. My dog. Yeah, is he? We, we, had, we decided to do a navigator review per popular request. Somebody else requested it. Yeah. So that's two requests. It only takes one. Now. It only takes one. Yeah, we're really not that picky. It only takes one. So we've had two requests, and now we're... we're uh, so we are here for you. That's right. We're it's here all about for the people. You. It's all about the people. Yep. Is he, you're you're, you're going to have to drive a little less crazy. <laughs> I'm not driving crazy. We wanted to show off the size of the car by showing off the size of my dog. This is car is actually very, very large. However, your so dog is very, very large. Izzy is uh, one year old, just over one year old. She's 160-ish pounds, English Mastiff. And uh, <laughs> she's not quite used to Mark's driving. She doesn't seem to have any problem when my wife drives. But when Mark's driving, a little bit scary for her, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, she's a good dog. And she fits very nicely in this nice, large SUV. <laughs> she's kind of on like a little platform. Yeah, she's got a little platform there. We she's put one little... of the middle seats down. Yep. It's nice because the middle seats fold like three ways. Mm -hmm. So you've got, you know, if, unless you have, there's a uh, an option for captain seats in the back, yes, right? So are. you can get just yep. two seats. But this yep. one has the bench all the way across that folds but in three each pieces. Seat, yep, each of the three seats fold down independently and also flip out of the way too. So you can get <laughs> Her poor butt keeps falling off the back of the seat. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. She's never had this problem before. My wife drives an expedition usually, and what's wrong? <laughs> You're not very comfortable, huh? Oh, poor baby. Yeah. If you're going to get a navigator with a dog, I would recommend training the dog to sit far back. <laughs> because uh, you'll have less issue with her Crying. almost falling off. Yeah. So. We're going to turn the temperature down a little bit here. This has sort of your classic uh, Lincoln look to it these days with the uh, uh, wood trim, silver on silver, gray sort of uh, console Stone. going on. Mm -hmm. um, Dual zone climate control, heated and cooled seats. Um, yep, all the little trimmings. Yeah, it's still the 5.4 V8 engine. Is that what it's running, the 5.4? Yeah. little analog clock just for, uh, just for classiness. Mm -hmm. And it's actually set to the proper time, so I'm not going to mess with it because, well, I guess I can go. There's a, there's a button for down, a button for up. Button it's always for down, bad to wind up, up clock backwards. It is. I think so. Like bad luck, bad, or like bad going back in time, back. No, like bad for the clock, bad. This may not have been the best idea. Why? She's starting to drool. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some <laughs> air blowing on the dog here. <laughs> Feel that dog? <laughs> well, we don't want to make it too loud in here, so how about we turn up the rear air? You have your very own air, the nice front and rear air controls. <laughs> well, yeah, you feel that, don't you? Hey, let's blow it on you. All right. Oh, there we go. How's that feel? Is that nice? Just blowing right on your back of you, huh? <laughs> Well, so, the good thing is, is that this car cleans up nicely. It does, it does. It'll be easy enough to clean up. A little, uh, little quick rag in the vacuum and yep. it'll be like new. Because it is. <laughs> She's so stressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. She never gets stressed. Like Maybe it's maybe she's camera shy. Maybe. Are you camera shy? Is it because the camera's on? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera off. Camera's off. Now you're relaxed? Does that work? Yeah, you look more relaxed now. You don't know what to do with your back end. <laughs> this is a, there may be a bit of a design flaw in the car in that there is a eight inch gap between the back seats and the and the front seats. I don't think they 
She has a whole flat space that she can sit in the trunk. That's true. She's sitting. The third row seat folds down completely forward. flat. There's tons of room back there. She There's a to ton of that. room. It's just high. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna slobber on me now, huh? <laughs> so how old are you now, Mark? Twenty three. Twenty three years old. Twenty three years. Almost of age. old enough to shave. Yep. Is that exciting? Yeah, I got like two hairs coming in. I felt this morning. I forgot to shave this morning myself, so I'm top or bottom. You know, Top or bottom. <laughs> my, my chin. I forgot to shave my chin, Mark. <laughs> I meant the head or the chin. Yeah? We should have put Layla in here and let the two of them play in back while we drove. Layla has not been nice lately. No? No. She hasn't been very nice. Oh, oh I think as he figured oh, something out, she figured girl. out she can lay down. Good girl. See there? Problem solved. Well, now she's good. What? I know. That was my email uh, indicator. I didn't turn my phone off this time. Mail. <sighs> We're not doing well. So this still has the older generation nav system in it, huh? We don't yeah, have, the, have the, uh, the my touch, touch yet. Nope. Not yet. But uh, this road is on this one. Unlike the Audi we were in last week that, or, yeah, that didn't mm -hmm. have the road. This one, the map has been updated, mm -hmm. so we know where we are. Yep, it even gives us a name. Midway Boulevard. Is this Midway Boulevard? Yeah, there's lots of Midways. Oh, look at that. It is Midway Boulevard. Mm -hmm. It didn't lie to you. It wouldn't lie. I think they would. I don't think they would. I think they would. I don't think so. So we're at the corner of Midway Boulevard and Via Vara. Which is not our awkward intersection. Our awkward intersection is the next one down where Via Vara hits, uh, well, Northwest Parkway Drive, Storage Tech Drive. I don't know what you would call it, but uh, interesting little tidbit. Uh, Frank Vara apparently owned this entire mall uh, housing structure Frank area. Vara. Frank Vara is the guy who uh, used to own this entire mall and uh, living area uh, land. What, what else did a, Frank Vara He was do? a farmer. Really? He owned land. That's really the whole story? Yeah, it's really not an exciting story. Oh, so I should have stuck with he owned all of it. Yeah, he, he just owned it and sold it to uh, the people, so they named roads after him. The peeps. The peeps. The peeps. Yeah. If you're not familiar with uh, Superior, Colorado, it looks a little bit like... Uh, I used to live in Superior. Yeah, it looks a little bit like suburban uh, San Francisco, where all the what? houses look exactly the same. Suburban LA, maybe? Try again. Suburban... No. I've, been, I've been in... Uh, I flew into uh, just outside of LA. I can't remember what it's called. And uh, I remember thinking, "Wow, all the houses look the same." But Superior is much the same way. A bunch of very similar so? houses. Yep, I do think so. And 15 years ago, when I was living here, still there was nothing. It was nothing? a great big field owned by Frank Vara. Frank Vara, who is famous for. Land. Owning the field. That's right. <laughs> did he did he farm? Did he have cattle? Maybe. Lots of dogs? I really don't know much about him. I just know they named the road after him and there's some parking space at the mall that's reserved for Frank Vara's family or something like that. I park in that spot. Do you? Mm -hmm. Huh. That and newborn and expecting mothers. Really? You park in the newborn and expecting parent? You're that guy, huh? No. I Man. I am seriously My disappointed. My cars do not look like I'm anywhere near having a pregnant significant other. Well, you put a car seat in the back, no one knows any better. True. Little little uh, pro tip for you guys there. You want to shop closer. So <laughs> now we're... A little, little kid on board, babe. babe yeah, little babe, baby on board sticker, you're good to go. Yeah. So now, now we're at uh, in, another interesting intersection for me. This is uh, US 36. How did we do all these drives and you never road. went over this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we're in this a is navigator. This is why this matters. My wife was driving a navigator mm -hmm. through this intersection mm -hmm. when someone came through the stoplight mm -hmm. off of 36 and ran into the side of her. Was that my dad? Because he's done that before. Really? Kind of. We Your had dad hit my wife? Right no. Your dad had an accident right here? Yeah. My wife had an accident right here and this is the first we're talking about it? Yeah. I didn't think, I mean, my dad has accidents a lot of places. So oh, I, really? Yeah. I had an intersection. I had an intersection. Your dad's kind of got that, that like, eccentric genius thing going on doesn't he where where maybe sometimes he doesn't pay direct attention oh, to everything yeah. Yeah. like on a two left turn lane yeah if, if i was him and i'm on the inside uh -huh. i would go to the outside <laughs> mid intersection but but it's because he's thinking about such deeper things yeah. i mean he's he's engineering the next spacecraft while driving a car in his head sure i'm just making that up i don't sure. know what he's engineering in his head but you know albert einstein mm -hmm. probably couldn't drive with a darn either no you know, he was too busy theorizing relativity. Yeah. 
It's all relative. So while I've got T-boned in that intersection, fortunately the damage wasn't, I mean, it's not like it knocked her car over or anything. Good. But uh, she was shaken. The car was great. Everybody was fine. I mean, she was nobody was hurt. Are your kids in the car? My daughter was in the car, and uh, they got pat, they got T-boned on the driver's side. Oh, and, the drivers. Uh, Wait, how? They were heading like, northbound. Gotcha. The person was coming she eastbound. Went all the way through the intersection. Went all the way through the intersection, bounced right into her. That'd be scary to hit on the driver's side. I've never had that happen. Yeah, but everybody was fine. I mean, the car is incredibly safe. Absolutely. A car this size should be. I mean, it's got a lot of big beefy steel frame in it mm-hmm. so what are you doing for your birthday tonight I'm going to Boulder really can we ask if I can drive a Lamborghini tonight we absolutely can do you think I'll get one no how about an Aston no who are Jeff? we going to ask should we ask Jeff no Izzy can Mark drive a Lamborghini tonight can I Izzy I'll give you I'll give you T-R-E-A-T can you spell I didn't want to say it in case she can Mark drive a Lamborghini tonight? Lamborghini? I'll give you a treat. Nope, nothing. No. She's not real familiar with that word. She's not familiar with that word? I don't think so. We don't food? give her much. Hey, is he food? Who's there? Yeah, that's your response. <laughs> <laughs> She's a guard dog, after all. She lays against the doors. That's what she will. She for. will bite your ankles off if you come too close to her, though. Vicious, vicious dog. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she's she's gonna drool mean. you to death. Yeah. Oh, look, our new trees. They've moved our trees um, because they're redoing the intersection near the dealership, and uh, they put them in front of the flagpole. That was a mess, but really cool to watch because they just pick up a whole tree, pick the whole tree up, and move it, drive it over, and stick it back in the ground. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna get drunk tonight? No. Why not? I work tomorrow. So. When you work late tomorrow? It seems like she's off the road, not on the road. On the road, because she's use a on little the shoulder. Help. She's on the shoulder. Yeah. How are you on the road without? Never mind. Would you prefer her on the road? She has green nail polish on. Yeah, that's nice. Makes her more personable. <laughs> it's all psychology. Matches her cigarette lighter. Really? There's a cigarette lighter on there that's green as well. Oh, yeah. So, this is uh, this all-wheel drive, right? Four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive? What's the difference? True. Four-wheel drive. Tell well, us about the difference. Inform the people. Well, four-wheel drive, each wheel spins completely independently. All-wheel drive is mainly geared towards the axles. But, all-wheel drive has gotten so far advanced, they're really almost the same now. However, an auto all-wheel drive is very nice. Now, this has, this has auto four-wheel drive very much the same but I feel like you didn't actually tell us specifically what either of them do no I didn't okay that was intriguing thank you <laughs> I you appreciate tell us. that lesson you tell us why well, I asked you because I don't entirely know four wheel drive is each wheel spinning in on, on its own okay all, all wheel drive is front and rear but all wheel drive with the um, what is that you're going to make me sound dumb again. <laughs> I don't have to do anything for that. <laughs> so I'm going to Boulder tonight. Yeah? For my birthday. Where are you going? Baker Street. This Cause... portion of the podcast brought to you by Baker Street Pub. Yeah. What do you like at Baker Street? Them? Maybe. Can we get money from them? What do you like there? I don't know. I've only been there once. My I had fish and chips. My sister works there. Your you sister works there? Why well, doesn't she work at the one in Broomfield? Because she goes to school to see you. Boulder. Huh. Not see you, Broomfield. So do you get the best table in the house? Maybe. I don't know. She's a hostess, so she better. I, I wish we had more local fare person. here. Fare? Uh, food. More local restaurants. Speaking of which, I'm not hungry. Are you? Yeah. We don't... I mean, there aren't a lot of, like, real nice little local restaurants we can go to. I listen to a podcast. They talk about El Paso or Austin, Texas all the time. And every podcast, they talk about what they're going to have for lunch. And they can list off a different five places every podcast. And each one of them is a local place. I could list off five local places right now, and then I'd run out. Really? In Broomfield, yeah. yeah. That's true. Broomfield, it's all chains, and I'm not saying the chains don't necessarily have good food, but it's kind of nice to have that. Just like us, family on the run. That's not right. That's right. Just like you and I, individual, unique. You Sorry, know, Izzy. driving a little bit recklessly. I'm not driving recklessly. She was. The dog? No, the driver in front of us. Oh, I was gonna say because the dog's not driving; yeah. she's in back. You alright? She's not answering. Something wrong. 
Is he? 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 Really? What just gonna does the name mean? <laughs> Where did you come up with that name? Uh, my son, I believe, came up with that name. What does it stand for? We call her Isadorable. <laughs> Cause like Isadore, only Apple. Apple. Cause she's adorable. Yeah, I remember she dog. was this big, and then the next day I saw her, she was this big, and the next month I saw her, she was this big. Yep. And now I would love to watch you try to pick her up. Can I? Yeah. Should we get a picture of you trying to pick her up? Okay. How do you pick her up? You get your arms under the front of her and under the back of her, and then and you I hope your like, legs are strong enough. My legs are strong enough. I can pick her up. Okay. Can I try that, Izzy? She may not be a fan. No, I don't want to have my head bitten off. She can fit that in her mouth. Yeah. No. Not your head. She should go for your neck. You've got kind of a small neck. What? Yeah. What size shirt do you wear? Like a 13? 15 and a half? We're going to get so many comments about not talking about the car. <laughs> I asked you to drive a Navigator. Now you didn't talk about it. Well, no, no. We talked about it. I mean, I don't know how much more we can say about the Navigator. It's a comfortable, comfortable ride. Yeah, I really like them. I mean, I. it's not, you know... Oh my god, look at all these buttons kind of ride because we know what the buttons do. And yeah. there aren't an overwhelming number of them. Unlike last week's Q7 where it was all buttons. All buttons, all the time. Yeah. But the good news is we're back, so Izzy can get out and stop having It was more to, about you know, sweat. my day. It is. And Izzy being in the car. That's uh, what the drive was. It's your birthday, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, what are you doing? I hurt my tooth. Well, stop fighting me. <laughs> I'm just trying to... a molar. I'm, how did that break a molar? I don't know, but it did. It's so cute. Come here, it's so cute. Izzy. Izzy, what guy? Izzy, kill dad. <sighs> we'll work on that. Who's we? Me and Izzy. You're going to train her to kill me? Yeah. I'm like the dog whisperer. Izzy, kill dad. See? She heard me. No, there's too many people around. Too many witnesses. 